What up? It's iFly. So I finally finished my uh, Backrooms build pack. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I ended up having to make more parts than I thought it was going to. Uh, my original estimate when I posted it was 55 parts, but in the end, including decals, it, there's 74. Uh, just the parts uh, in the kit alone, or the pack alone for the actual building, 63 instead of 55 but a total of 74 including the decals. So anyway, this video is mostly going to be about how to set up the grid and then building a quick little structure just to show how all the parts can go together. Uh, so you're gonna wanna keep the grid offset at 50 or at zero, whatever you want. And then these are the ones that really matter. Uh, I've already got it set, but I'll redo it. Uh, you're going to want to set the grid size to 59.05. When you click off, the 5 is going to disappear, but it'll still affect it. So 59.05. And that's that's half grid. And I'm including with the pack this text document that kind of goes over the grid size and there's a little cheat sheet for you here for, uh, for height uh, and make sure everything snaps together properly. Uh, so yeah, after you get the grid size set, you can go ahead and start adding parts. Uh, here we go, nice little, oh, that's not the right one. Here we go, floor main, there we go. You can see it's just snapping around. So you can set one down. In case you don't know too, you can hold shift when you're uh, placing stuff and you can just keep placing them. But as you can see, they're just snapping right into place. No problem. Throw a wall on here really quick. Bam, bam, bam. Just that easy. Go in here, drag it into place, rotate. Let's get a little bit of a bird's eye view going on here so we can see where the walls need to go. Let's leave that one open. Add another, oops, wrong one again. Add another floor there. Maybe have it go off this way. Do another path. Oop, I missed. I misplaced one of them. See that? But you can just snap it right back to the grid, no problem. There we go. Add a few more walls. Uh, rotate it. Get a little bit better of a view going. There we go. There we go. Uh, go ahead and add a roof. Got the roof right here, and you got a tile too for it. The roof already goes to the proper height. You don't have to worry about it. So you can just uh, place it where you want it. You, just, you have to be able to see where the floor is where it's going to place though, otherwise it'll, it'll want to place on top of something. There we go. It's a need the start marker in there. Go check it out. There we go. That quick and easy and we have a nice little uh, back rooms hallway made. Uh, in case you don't want that many lights on the ceiling, I, uh, I thought about that too. So let's just go down inside there really quick. So let's say you want to have them like one here, not one here, one here, not one here. So they're like staggered zigzagging across the uh, roof. So let's keep that one there. Let's click on this one, go to materials, and then you can drop down the little uh, drop down thing right here and go to uh, glass frosted and you can, uh, drop the alpha to zero. And now you can see the panel disappeared. So now what you can do, and you can, if you think about this ahead of time, then you don't have to go back and do what I'm doing, but you can select every other one like that, delete them, and now copy that one. If you click on the one that you want a copy of and then click on it over here, you can you'll get a duplicate of it or another thing you can just control c control v and there you go but if you click on it and go from over here then you can hold shift and just continue to drop them oh there we go all right now let's go back in and check it out again and there we go only a panel on every other ceiling uh, uh tile i guess you could call it um, instead of every one So I also have, let's go over here, go ahead and add a little bit more floor. So one there, one there. 
Now let's add stairs. Go ahead and put the stairs down. I like to put them flat on the ground, otherwise they tend to try and snap up onto the carpet. Um, so yeah, stairs, go floor main, and here's where uh, you have to change the height to get it to match the stairs. And so you place your floor, go over here, go here, and then under Y you can put 118.1. There we go, that's the proper height for the, uh, for the grid that we're using. So now when you snap it over, it will be right at the proper height for the uh, stairs. However, the stairs I made have no collision just so uh, you could use a lower poly collision mesh instead. And I made it bright orange on purpose so you can see it easier. And after you get it placed where you want it, you can just go to materials and then uh, same thing as on the light panel, just turn down the alpha clipping and there you go, it's invisible. So add a little more uh, walls in there. Go to the other side. We'll put one on the end. I guess it doesn't really matter right now. One there, one there. So something else you can do, if you want these to uh, snap to the top of the other ones, you can try to place them like that. But for the second floor, what I like to do is go back to the grid and enable snap mode. And then you can just snap one down, two down, whatever. But then something else you can do is you can go back to grid position and you can just copy and then paste. And now you'll have another one. They'll stay at the same exact height. Um, so you can do it that way. Um, or you can just keep doing it this way. Both will work. Um, it's just a little bit easier with the snapping, but it's a little quicker like this. And if you look, they're at the correct height. Um, but something else that's cool you can do. Let's say, let's rotate that one and put it right there. See, that one didn't go to the right height because it snapped to the stairs instead. That's why I, I was uh, suggesting snap mode. Um, enable snapping. And now it'll snap right to it. Um, and as you can see, it's at the right height. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, actually get rid of that one. Another cool thing I, I added to the pack are all these shafts and different kinds of adapters. I know that it seems like there's a lot, but they all have a different purpose. Um, if you just look at the names, you can uh, match them up like V2 uh, is going to go to all the other things that say V2. And the ones that don't have uh, a V2 are just the uh, normal versions of them. Uh, so for example, uh, here we have two different windows or wall exits. This one is strictly a wall exit, and this one is a window or a wall exit. And if you notice, let me just put one of each down and I'll show you the difference. You notice how this one you can see this inner edge and this one you can't. Uh, this one can be used as just like a window. I, put, I made a little uh, window glass for it. Um, or you can use it as an exit depending on which of these parts you use. So like this one, shaft 90 wall exit, see there's no V2 on the end, this one's got the V2. So this one, the regular, would go to the window There we go. And as you can see, it goes to the very back edge of the window. However, the V2 is the same thing, only it goes to the very front edge of the window. And so I had to remove that inner border because otherwise you'd see it clipping through there. But I personally like the way this one looks better, where it, where it comes all the way up to the edge like that. And you could put something down in front of these to help get in or no I guess I didn't leave an exit let's just go ahead and open that wall up oh wrong one one more down uh, so let me just show you real quick um, this way so if you just walk up to these and hit jump hard to do sometimes jump and then crouch you can get in them ah. there we go 
but there's a bunch of other cool parts with them too. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, let's do the V2. Go ahead and just change that to a 1. And now we'll take the V2 wall exit. Put it at the right height, 118.1. Drag it in place. Put it more forward. There we go. Actually, not that one. Let's go with, except I forgot we're entering right there. So let's go with the, the uh, shaft small horizontal V2 wall exit. Set that there, 118.1. Set that in place. Now, when you jump in, you'll be able to crawl up. And let's add a 45 shaft. There we go. Set it there. And so the, right here's where this little cheat sheet can come in handy. You want to, for the height, you want to double it. <clears throat> Excuse me, each time. So if it's 118 the first time, it's 236.2 the second time. So copy, paste that in, and there we go. Seamless. So now you could jump in there and crawl up. And I have other parts for a, uh, an exit right there. So rotate that. And then again, here's where the cheat sheet comes in handy, 354.3. There we go. Drag it into place. There it is. So now you could keep going with this. You can make it turn. There's four ways. There's different ones. There's a these shafts right here too, these are kind of cool. In fact, let me just show you this really quick. Let's grab another wall. The right one? I think so. Put it at the same height. Grab a floor. Put it at the same height. Nope, oh, wrong floor actually, because I want to do this. So these are the uh, like trap door floors. V, drag it on over. And so here is where this comes in handy. Put this one to the 236.2, and now you got a little funnel to drop people into. And here's the cover. Control V, there we go. And then you make that uh, physics off. It is a mobile, yes. And now, when you walk up there and drop in, you'll fall straight through that. And then you can have, where are they? Um, I need the vertical one right here. So rotate, put it to correct height. 236.2? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 118.1. One. Oh, too many there. Way up in the air. <clears throat> okay, maybe it is 236. Oh, I see what's going on here. 118, there we go. See, as long as you get the, uh, the height correct, it'll snap right to it. Then add... Then we need... The adapter. And then. And then. The uh, horizontal. Add. 90 horizontal. Let's go with another 90 horizontal. You can see what I'm doing. You can just keep on adding parts to this. Let's get rid of that. Now let's add a wall exit V2. Where is it? 
So these are right-handed and left-handed. So you want to think about, oh, wrong button. Which way are you going to be heading when you leave it? In this case, we'll be turning left. So you want the uh, wall exit V2, left, L, left. Now when you set it up into place, it's nice and seamless, it goes right to it. There we go. Nice little, of course, you know, you would enclose that or do whatever, but now you have a little path to walk around, or to crawl through to get to the next place. There we go. Go ahead and give it a try. Crawl up here. Then uh, jump, ah, jump and duck. Or, you know, put something there to have people crawl up onto it or something. Climb up into here and then you're like, oh no, I fell down into a tunnel. And crawl through here. Take some, uh, some corners. Oh look, we're back inside. Yeah. And that didn't take very long. And, you know, with me explaining and slowing down and doing all this stuff, of course, it can take a little longer, but you could literally just throw these parts together real quick. And then another thing that I'll show you I made some little corner trim pieces. Uh, really, you only need one, but there's one for each corner basically so if you can memorize which one goes which or to which spot based on your uh, orientation um, you know based on these forward and backwards then you can pick the right one for the job in this case you can just pick one, any though and see oh it doesn't quite fit so rotate rotate there we go and you got yourself a nice little corner trim and you can do that on all of the corners oops that actually have corners that one and oh, there we go yeah just makes it look a little, a little bit nicer anyway yeah there's the, the build pack there's how you use the uh, grid system how you use the uh, panels Um, yeah, I hope everybody got some good info out of this video and it helps them with the pack when they get it, if they get it. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next one.